Did you know that the United States government has spent years trying to crush one of China's biggest tech companies? This isn't just a recent development, it's been a long-standing issue that has evolved over time. It's true. We're talking about Huawei, a name you might recognize from your phone or maybe that weird router your parents got a deal on. Huawei has become a household name, but its journey has been anything but smooth. Well, this isn't just a business spat, it's a full-blown tech cold war. The stakes are incredibly high and the implications are far-reaching, affecting not just the companies involved, but also consumers and governments around the world. The United States claims Huawei is a security risk, but Huawei says it's all just an attempt to stifle competition. This back and forth has led to a series of sanctions, bans and legal battles that have kept both sides on edge. Who's right? Well, buckle up, because things are about to get interesting. The narrative is complex, with each side presenting compelling arguments and evidence to support their claims. This isn't just about phones and gadgets, folks. It's about who gets to control the technologies of the future. The race for technological supremacy is on, and it's more intense than ever. We're talking 5G artificial intelligence, the whole shebang. These technologies are set to revolutionize industries, economies, and even our daily lives. The United States and China are the biggest players in the tech world, and they're both fighting tooth and nail for dominance. This battle isn't just about market share, it's about setting the standards and rules for the next generation of technology. The outcome will shape the global tech landscape for years to come. So who is Huawei, and why is the United States so worried about them? To understand this, we need to delve into the history and growth of Huawei. Well, Huawei is like the LeBron James of the tech world. Just as LeBron dominates the basketball court with his skills and presence, Huawei dominates the tech industry with its innovative products and widespread influence. They're huge, they're everywhere, and they're really, really good at what they do. They make everything from smartphones and laptops to networking equipment and cloud services. Their technology is embedded in many aspects of modern life, and they were on track to become the number one smartphone maker in the world, surpassing even giants like Apple and Samsung. But then, the United States government stepped in and said, hold up, not so fast concerns about national security began to surface. They accused Huawei of being too cozy with the Chinese government and claimed that their equipment could be used for spying. This wasn't just a minor allegation, it was a serious accusation that had global implications. Huawei has always denied these accusations, stating that they operate independently and have no ties to espionage activities. But the damage was done. The United States banned American companies from doing business with Huawei and pressured its allies to do the same. This move was part of a larger trade war between the US and China. This was a major blow to Huawei. Their supply chains were disrupted and their access to critical technology was severely limited. Imagine if suddenly Apple couldn't use any parts made in America. Their production would come to a grinding halt and their market position would be jeopardized. Yeah, it was kind of like that. The ban not only affected Huawei's business operations but also sent shockwaves through the global tech industry, highlighting the interconnected nature of modern technology and international trade. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. The United States sanctions hit Huawei like a ton of bricks. Remember how I said they were on track to become the number one smartphone maker in the world? Well, those dreams were quickly dashed. Without access to Google's apps and services, Huawei's smartphones became a lot less appealing to international customers. And without access to key American components like microchips, Huawei struggled to keep up with its competitors. It wasn't just smartphones, though. Huawei's entire business was affected. They lost access to crucial software and hardware, and their global expansion plans were put on hold. It was a tough time for the tech giant, but they weren't ready to give up just yet. They had a few tricks up their sleeves. So what do you do when the most powerful country in the world is trying to put you out of business? Well, if you're Huawei, you get creative. You see, Huawei had been preparing for this kind of scenario for years. They knew that being reliant on American technology was a risk, so they started developing their own alternatives. They poured billions of dollars into research and development, focusing on key areas like chip design and operating systems. They also started forging new partnerships with companies outside the United States. They were determined to show the world that they weren't going down without a fight. Harmony OS Huawei's trump card. One of Huawei's most ambitious projects was the development of their own operating system called Harmony OS. This was a direct response to the US ban on Google services. 
Harmony OS was designed to be a true alternative to Android, capable of powering everything from smartphones and tablets to smart TVs and wearables. It was a bold move, and many industry experts were skeptical. Building a successful operating system from scratch is no easy feat, especially when you're competing against the likes of Android and iOS. But Huawei was determined to prove the doubters wrong. A new dawn for Huawei? Fast forward to today and Huawei is still standing. They're not out of the woods yet, but they've weathered the storm better than many expected. Their smartphone sales have taken a hit, but they're still a major player in the global market. And their other businesses, like networking equipment and cloud services, are still going strong. They've even started to make some, make some headway with Harmony OS. It's now the default operating system on many of their new devices, and they've been working hard to attract developers to build apps for the platform. It's still early days, but Harmony OS could be Huawei's ticket back to the top. The global tech landscape, a battlefield of innovation and dominance. The battle between Huawei and the US is just one example of the intense competition taking place in the global tech industry. Countries and companies around the world are vying for control of the technologies that will shape the future. From artificial intelligence and 5G to quantum computing and biotechnology, the stakes have never been higher. This competition can be a good thing. It drives innovation, lowers prices and gives consumers more choices. But it can also lead to tensions, trade wars and even military conflict. The future of the global tech landscape is uncertain, but one thing is for sure, it's going to be a wild ride. The stakes are high. The future of tech hangs in the balance. The outcome of this tech war will have far-reaching consequences, affecting not just the tech industry, but the global economy and geopolitical landscape. It will determine who controls the flow of information, who has the power to influence public opinion, and who can shape the narrative. It will also decide who sets the standards for new technologies potentially creating monopolies or fostering competition, and who reaps the economic benefits of innovation, which could lead to unprecedented wealth or exacerbate existing inequalities. It will also have a profound impact on our daily lives, influencing everything from healthcare to education, and even our social interactions. From the way we communicate and consume information, to the way we entertain ourselves and stay connected with loved ones, to the way we work, learn and interact with the world around us, technology will be at the core of our existence. The future of tech is up for grabs, and the choices we make now will echo through generations. The decisions we make today will determine what that future looks like, whether it will be inclusive or exclusive. Will it be a future of openness, collaboration and shared prosperity, where everyone has a seat at the table? Or will it be a future of division, distrust and technological dominance by a select few, creating a digital divide that may be impossible to bridge? What do you think? So what do you think about all of this? Is Huawei a legitimate security threat, or is the US just trying to stifle competition? Is the development of Harmony OS a sign of China's growing technological prowess, or is it a desperate attempt to catch up to the West? And what does the future hold for the global tech landscape? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to check out our other content for more in-depth analysis of global tech issues. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.